Ready? Back and then bring it in. Push away from you. Find your personal sweet spot. Mine is at about 45 degrees to my leg, I find. If I go too far back, I'm into my hip, so I tend to push it out just a bit. Okay, let's start out skiing. Here we go. There is a nice little rhythm. Carolyn has a really good feel for it. She tells us she skis every winter. Oh, so next to ballet, skiing could very well be her next favorite hobby. Let's change sides. Ready? Take that foot back. Push it away from you and then in. So again, my sweet spot that really works my outer hip area, which is that trouble area for most people, is going to be at a 45 degree angle, almost to my back heel. I find that's a spot of engagement for me. Why don't you try that same area? And let's begin our little skiing process for reach. If you notice, your back, how can I say this, has a panther-like movement to it. So move the arms long and strong, elongate, biceps, chest, back, and let's switch to the other side. Here we go. Find the spot, bring it in. So if you notice, Carolyn's spot is slightly different than mine. And everybody has a different area. Going too far back is not the way to go. Start by going sideways first, and then slowly work it back. Beautiful. Let's go into that cross-country skier. Reach. What I find with the freestyler, that each time I switch from lower to upper body, my body really wants to do more. So if you notice, I'm actually more elongated than I was when I first started. It's a unique feature of the freestyler. Let's try the other foot. Take it back and out. So I want you to think more out and think slightly back. And right now I feel my glutes, but not back here, more to the side of the body. Chest up, shoulders back, spine erect, and let's go to work skiing. Set yourself up, make it nice and long. <sighs> Breathe through it, elongate the arms. <sighs> Pretend you're holding poles. Keep the head up and smile. You're somewhere by yourself. It's a nice frosty day and you're getting a great workout.